Hi, so this question is about using the CHADS2 um, score to assess what management or what actions you would um, do for a patient who has AF. Um, so the question states that we have a 79-year-old woman admitted to the CCU with unstable angina. So she's 79 and she has unstable angina. She has started an appropriate medication to reduce her cardiac risk. She is hypertensive, so she, she suffers from hypertension. Uh, fasting glucose is normal, okay, and cholesterol is 5.2. She is found to be in AF. What is the most appropriate treatment? Okay, so we have aspirin and clopidogrel, digoxin, cardioversion, aspirin alone, and warfarin. <clears throat> So in this instance, what we would do, we would use a scoring system called the CHADS2 score, okay? And that will tell us what treatment we need to use. So to use this, this is the CHADS2 score. So the C stands for congestive heart failure. Um, either the H stands for hypertensive age so if they're over 75 and the d stands for diabetes and the s2 is prior stroke so whether they've had any tias or any forms of strokes in the past okay and when we use this scoring system each um each section has their own individual scoring it's quite easy to remember because it's nothing it's nothing hard so the first one um if they have any if they have any congestive heart failure, then that's one point. Hypertensive, one point. Age, so if they're at 76 or over, or 75 or over, then again, one point. If they have diabetes, that's one point. And if they have um, a prior stroke, then that would be two points. So it's one, 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 two. Okay. Now, what would you do? So, this is the... <laughs> So once you've scored them, you would go on to this here. So if they score zero, then that's very low risk. And usually you won't give any treatment or you can give aspirin, but you don't have to. If they score one, then that is moderate and you would give either aspirin or warfarin. So you can give either. And then um, if they score over two or two, so two or more, then that is very high risk and you would give warfarin. So you wouldn't give aspirin, you would just give warfarin, okay? So if we go on to this, let's score this lady and see what treatment we would give. So she's 79, so she's over 75, so that's one point. She is admitted to the CCU with unstable angina, okay? Um, so she does suffer from um, congestive heart failure basically because she has unstable angina so that's another point she started an appropriate medication to reduce her cardiac risk she's hypertensive so she's, she suffers from hypertension so again that's another point fasting glucose is normal so she has diabetes which is why they've done a fasting glucose so again that's another point and cholesterol is 5.2 she's found to be in AF so she has four points Okay, and if she has four points, which is more than two, so it's high risk, so we would give her warfarin. Okay, <clears throat> so warfarin is the correct answer here. Now, if you say, oh, how did you know that she had diabetes? Well, even if she didn't have diabetes, um, we know that she's hypertensive, that's one point. We know that she has unstable angina, so that's... You know that's a that's a part of congestive heart failure it's a sign of heart failure so that's another point and um her age so she's 79 so even if she didn't have unstable angina so she was only 79 and she was hypertensive you would still give her warfarin because she would score two or more in this instance um hope this video was useful thank you for watching